Happy Pride Week. Welcome to your city hall. Technical difficulties, hold on for a second. Okay, so that was the hard part. Here comes the easy part. So I'd like to welcome everyone to City Hall and to say Happy Pride Week. It's a wonderful occasion for us to be gathered here uh, on the rooftop podium uh, because today we're going to raise the rainbow flag. Yeah. Yeah. As the City Council for Ward 27, home, yes, let's hear from Ward 27. You're in Ward 27. Home of the Pride Week Festival, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to kick off the summer. We do that every year when we launch Pride Week. This is the official start of the 32nd annual Pride Week in the City of Toronto. The rainbow flag, sometimes called the freedom flag, was popularized as a symbol for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, pride, diversity, sexual liberation in San Francisco in 1978. There's a lot of history to this flag. Our rainbow flag being raised symbolizes the communities that we belong to. And some may think that the LGBTQ community is beyond this sort of thing. We've already arrived. We've got our rights. Members of the LGBT family know that Pride Week is not just a party and a time to celebrate and what a party it is, but it's also a time to demonstrate and to redouble our efforts to achieve, to achieve true and meaningful equality. Young people are unable to come out of the closet for fear of family and community rejection. And they know that Pride is not just a cultural event, which it certainly is, but it's also a global human rights movement. LGBT seniors, growing old and sometimes alone, being forced to go back into the closet so that they can receive quality long-term care, know that the struggle for equality is still real, and for them, it's a matter of life and death. Let's not, the, let's not forget that this sort of thing is only a dream in many parts of the world, including small towns and socially conservative cities in Canada. Let's not forget that when we raise the rainbow flag in Toronto, a teenager in remote northern Ontario is given a beacon of hope that there is another way of being in this world and that he or she is not alone. Yeah. 